So I'd like to talk about um, what I just did there, which is uh, some fast uh, pentatonic runs uh, using alternate picking and a combination of uh, economy picking. So this is uh, one of my favorite ways to like play fast. And um, I can break this down in a basic sense. I can break this down into like three uh, components or parts wherein you can master each part individually and you can combine all three and play it that way. So um, the first uh, part is what I call the uh, Zach Wild part. So these are like uh, scale fragment concepts that you need to like practice individually until you can master them and you can combine it with all sorts of different uh, concepts. So the Zach Wild will look like this. Two notes per string alternate picking. So uh, in the G and D string, you can go like this. Down, up, and then the next string. Down, up, the polka. So if you uh, play it uh, slowly, so you can just repeat it uh, over and over again until you can uh, get the hang of it and uh, try playing it slow first, then build up speed over time. So you can play it in any part of the fretboard or any position of the pentatonic scale or any set of two strings. So. so anywhere on the fretboard, pentatonic scale, any key, as long as that's the uh, pattern, uh, down, up, down, up, two notes per string, pentatonic scale. Um, the next uh, part of that um, style of playing, or uh, the way I would like to see it, is um, what I call the Eric Johnson. So the Eric Johnson move is like a combination of alternate picking and economy picking. So the emphasis here is there's a double downstroke. So uh, here's how it goes. So you go the the usual pentatonic. Uh, two notes, two note per string alternate picking. Then you, uh, when, when you get to the lower string, you downstroke. Start with a downstroke, then you do another downstroke on the higher string. So, so it will sound like that. And basically, you do a downstroke, upstroke, then downstroke on the nut on the lower string, then downstroke again. So two downstrokes in a row. So then you can combine it with the Zach Wild move, and, or you can do it in uh, like descending on a different pairs of two strings. So once again, slowly. And the third uh, part of that is what I call the John Petrucci move, which um, it looks like this. Uh, three notes per string this time, and you can do it like chromatically. Like, or you can just, let's just stick to the pentatonic scale. So, so three uh, notes on the first string. So you start with the middle finger, the pinky, or the third finger. And then middle finger again and index. So it's a six note pattern. So one, two, three, four. Then the two notes will be played on the next uh, lower string. So, so slowly. And once again, you can play that in every in any uh, pair of two strings or any position of the pentatonic scale. So. Once you can build up speed, it will sound like that. So. so, basically, that's how I view the fast pentatonic runs that I do, and I just basic basically I just combine those three concepts: the Zach Wild move, the Eric Johnson move, and the John Petrucci move. 
uh, which obviously I learned from them separately and ako lang siyang combine and you just um, play it all together um, combine different uh, um, ways of doing all those three sh shapes and scale fragments so you can start off with the Zakwag and you can combine uh, John Petrucci there You can do anything. You can do a uh, Eric Johnson or so right there. I did a, an Eric Johnson move. So you can... that's the usual run that I do. So basically, so Zach Wild, Eric Johnson, Zach Wild, Jeff Petrucci. Zakwad, Yan Petrucci again, Zakwad, Eric Johnson. Come on, Ajah. <laughs> 